Here's the Soul E35 elliptical delivered today. Um, had some tears in the box, so made sure we tore open the box to make sure nothing looked damaged right away. I had them note that on the invoice slip, so if anything comes back where we find damage, uh, they'll know it was already in shipment. So here's the box, the styrofoam. This side also had a, a tear in the in the box, so we looked at to make sure inside that nothing looked damaged. Looked good to me so far. We'll take it all apart, and make sure everything's in good shape. But we'll be excited to put this up and get it working hopefully today. Took them a little less than a week to get here. And I ordered it through Amazon.com. You could order the same price through uh, through Seoul directly from them, but So the directions show you to uh, cut out on the bottom to uh, get rid of the cardboard, expose all the parts. All the way around and level up just to get a decent smaller. Exposed. I have all the parts exposed. So you can carry all this stuff to where you want it, like downstairs. And the biggest part is the flywheel. I heard it's recommended to have at least two people to move the flywheel because it's pretty awkward and heavy. I've done a lot of the unboxing and I made five trips to the basement. Now we have left is this big piece with the flywheel on it. The 2013 E35 has the 29 pound flywheel which has increased from the previous model by about four pounds. But you can see that the, the leg assemblies are all attached. They're attached to the flywheel so it's kind of bulky. Now I see what people are meaning by very awkward to move and heavy. I bet you it's about 60 pounds once you add all the stuff in there. Um, have to get two or three people to help carry that down to the basement. But, uh, some more parts underneath that box there. Most of the parts have already carried down, but it was packaged very well. Everything is covered in plastic. And uh, actually it's nice because you can take all those parts down piece by piece and take it to a basement or upstairs room, wherever you gotta go. So I carried them all to my convenient ping pong table where I can put the parts with three boxes of parts and some miscellaneous the handlebars and the rest of the assembly and the floor base with the rails on it that was fairly heavy one person can carry it uh, and then you have the big unit that I just showed you in the garage so most of it you can carry down by yourself you need help for that big part uh, what I really like about the 2013 E35 Soul elliptical is the new handlebars they put on this year for 2013. It's got the different angles on it which I tried it out in the store and I like the normal grip right here. I really like the palm down grip and the palm up grip while you're working out. The other one's a little wide for me. It felt too wide for me holding on out there but you got like four or five different grips you can do on those handlebars and I like that new design. That's why I went with the, the new latest model and they've added the bigger flywheel it has some heavier duty parts. I open up the parts boxes and this long box you've got all the, the, the uh, plastic trim that goes on the very end. And they recommend you uh, 
get it all put together. Try it out before you put all the plastic trim on. It's easier to adjust or tighten bolts if you're hearing any noises. There shouldn't be any noises. It's a very quiet treadmill. In this box, you have the manuals. Um, you have the parts uh, kit, and they give you tools with it. Now, if you have other tools, you might want to have our heavy-duty tools and even a, uh, a ratcheting wrench um, socket set. I've heard it's easier to use that than the supplied tools. And there's a lot more plastic parts in here. It looks like some lubricating lift and grease, power cord. And the other box, the big box, comes the... the uh, the larger display. And this was also upgraded to the 2013 model. And I like the I like the program they built in and the uh, buttons and the bigger display they added. They added a bigger display on it. Um, they made some nice changes here for the 2013 model of the E35. So we're going to start some assembly and then we'll probably make another video for that. That's the unboxing of the E35 Soul elliptical. Can't wait to use it tonight. Well, we just carried the base with the um, flywheel down the stairs. You know how they say it could take two or three people to move it? You definitely want three people, I guarantee it. Don't even think about two. What you do is, what's so awkward about it is these legs that stick out. They pivot, they move, and you have to have somebody, a third person, holding these up in the air while two people grab the base there and there the heavy part usually we do one on this side and one on that side uh, and then someone holds these two up in the middle because they'll go flopping everywhere so you really need three people and you can see I took some of that non-stick strapping tape and just strapped over these two uh, pieces uh, of the foot pedals assemblies because they this one will go flopping all by itself and they won't stay together so wrap those two up before you move it and uh, we actually slid it down the stairs on the cardboard box uh, but it's it is rather awkward and bulky it's probably about 60 pounds or 70 pounds the whole assembly so it's not that bad it's just uh, too hard to hang on to it uh, now for the assembly you can see we set the base and kind of slid it into the um, the flywheel assembly here and we'll have to bolt that together, but we just slid it right in as soon as we got it downstairs here. So now it's ready to bolt together, ready to assemble all these pieces. And one thing I didn't mention in the box was also the sole um, cardiac monitor, which straps around your chest, which is really nice. Uh, that doesn't come on the, the 25 model. Um, but what you can do is you can strap it around your chest, which is very accurate for heart rate, because the handlebars are never real accurate on these machines. Just hang on the handlebar pulse rate. So there's a program, two cardiac programs on this model. Um, one is at 60% of your maximum heart rate, and one is at 80. So user one is 60, user two for cardio, uh, for the heart rate um, program, is at 80 of your maximum heart rate. So what it does is you set that and put in your weight and age and all those things, and you use the, the uh, heart rate, um, where is it here? <coughs> use heart rate one and two. Um, you set it to that and it will keep you at your 80% of your maximum heart rate. So it will increase the uh, incline and the resistance to keep you at your target heart rate, which is awesome. So it will adjust your, your workout as you go through. And you set the time at the beginning, uh, and then it will remember that. The next time you use it, if it's the, if the same person, it will remember the same settings. If someone else uses it, they might change your settings. Um, but there's a lot of really cool features on here for program programmability. We'll get to that later once they get assembled.